welcome to the video so we're on vlog number four uh, we've been uploading a video every week uh, getting closer to Iron Man Chattanooga and we've gotten a lot of feedback from the videos uh, from all over the world um, this one guy's got a channel um, he's in Europe I uh, love his content um, he's commented on a few so we're all going through different training scenarios um, different workouts uh, different strategies so it's very important um, I feel like YouTube or any social media platform is a good place to focus on getting your content out there and helping that one person now it's not always about making money and and getting famous and getting the YouTube plaque and blah 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 it's really about touching that one person and if you can accept touching that one person then you did everything that you set out to do this week's video is going to be about pacing I really struggle with pacing so come along with me I'm gonna jump on here jump off you know work training having fun and the in-between it's a workout just doing life so we're gonna talk about pace this week. Today is Monday, just finished a recovery ride. Just one hour, 17 pace, nice and easy. All right, we are at the YMCA in Brandon, Florida, which is pretty close to Tampa. So we're gonna do a swim. It's gonna be based around pace so we're gonna do about a two minute pace for a long hour swim probably about 2400 meters roughly now the pool today is 86 degrees so they might have had the aerator on when the aerator's on it seems to be a little better all right of course I'm always in a hurry because I have no time with work, training, and first and foremost, family. So, priorities family, work, of course, because you got to provide for the family and the training because it is expensive. And this week, we've been talking about pace. So, tonight was a nine minute pace for hills. For a total of six miles and we're looking at about 55 minutes um, as soon as the caption comes up I will put the camera down on that and let you see that right there nice and pretty um, it was a good workout and I was really thinking about pace and then I want to throw a curveball in there and talk about fueling um, I listened to a podcast recently with Nick Bear about fueling, um, something about fueling the furnace or something like that. But even though I fuel every day and I watch what I eat and keep track and all the above, I'm going to start more fueling during my workouts instead of before and after then that way I can keep um, you know salt intake in me sodium now I believe it's just me it might be in just my mind I've never drank or never smoked so I feel like people that consume alcohol sweat a little bit more than a person that would not consume alcohol like I said, it's just my opinion. I don't have any scientific basics to back that up. 
um, but it's just what I see. You know, people like a lot of podcasters, running podcasts, they'll say, hey, you know, I go out and I have a couple adult beverages and then the next day I tank or I will use this supplement or that supplement or uh, Pedialyte's a big thing to try to help with those beverage drinks, um, you know, to get through the next morning. I don't know, I've never experienced that, so I can't answer that, but that was just my thought about salt intake. Uh, I've always liked a lot of salt on everything. Maybe that's why I don't sweat so much because I already have consumed a lot of salt. Um, it is in my bio on my YouTube, but I use what's called um, BASE, B-A-S-E. It's a little salt um, tube. Uh, you can buy it online. I think it's like 20 bucks and it lasts months. Um, and then I also do the supplements from uh, the Nick Bear BPN. Um, I use a lot of their uh, products. I think I have that in my bio too. I'm not sure, but I can always update it and put that podcast down there in case you want to review that. And I'll also put the uh, BPN uh, subs in there too. Then that way you can go to the website or the app. Uh, I got the app. It works really well, uh, very convenient, gets to your doorstep with a matter of hours. So very, very good information. Well, yeah, with pace, um, jump back on topic here. I was really pushing, and it seems like when I run, the first mile is, uh, you know, my feet are hurting a little bit from my surgeries this and that i'm trying to find the crown of the road i'm trying to get my groove i don't want to be here and then two i'm like flooring it three i'm flooring it four i'm flooring it five i'm flooring it and i was coming back up um i cut it a little short on the hills i think i had five and a half miles and then i ran by my starting point and i had a half mile to go and i was running a six minute pace and even down one of the hills i was running like a four minute pace so I believe that I'm increasing. I've been over an hour every day on the hills. Um, now I'm getting like, you know, 850, 855 average, you know, somewhere around that, like that. Um, all together, all six was a little over nine minutes. So I'm definitely getting it down. I ran eight on Saturday and it was like, I don't know, 110 degrees and it was, more of an incline the whole eight so i had like a 10 minute pace uh and i feel like i really tanked because it was kind of like i just you're gonna have some workouts you just don't agree with and you're gonna have some that you fall in love with i i, I don't get it i i don't understand the basics around it maybe it's just your day um what you eat uh your attitude you know how you feel if you're up if you're down if you're happy if you're sad I think a lot of that goes into your training. It really affects you just like everyday life. So tomorrow is a swim. Get ready. Good morning. What up? <laughs> All right, over and back. Swim is complete. Uh, follow the pace exactly the way I wanted. I wanted about, I don't know, two minutes hard over. So about 12 minutes over. And then about 18 minutes back, easy. Uh, so just gotta watch your pace. Um, I went out kind of hard, which is what I wanted, and it, it felt great. I had the triathlon suit on, which you can see I got on here, and then I put the Roka Viper over it. Um, 
I did have to get somebody to zip me up, but it is true. It does break away. The zipper is a breakaway zipper, and that's how you're gonna get out of it to get onto the bike and get the bike leg part completed after you transition out of the water. So it is true. You don't have to have somebody help you unzip it. So I'm glad I cleared that up. And when I started out, I feel like I was all like, my chest was compressed. I had the zipper poking into me. So I kind of stopped swimming for a second and corrected that. It's just things that you gotta correct before the big race. Remember, don't ever do anything outside of your race strategy and race nutrition because you will pay for it on the race course. All right, so we're getting up the hills. We're pacing right along. Um, warm up one mile and then hard four miles and then cool off with one mile. All set at a steady pace. Um, definitely when you're training for any kind of race, remember, pace, pace, pace. I know it's easy to get out there and you know, you worked all day and you just wanna get the training session done and that is not the answer. Just start out easy and then accomplish your training scheduled as it was intended to be and fulfill. Remember, pace is everything. It's the way you start and the way you finish. So if you don't remember anything about this vlog for Chattanooga, pace, pace, pace. And remember, I'll see you in next week's vlog and stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you at the next start of an Ironman.